Okay, uh, once again we're finding the relative extreme of this function. And so we go through the procedures here and first off we take the div. Alright, so the derivative, taking the derivative of these polynomials should become old hat by now. So uh, we have 6x squared. And then we set this thing equal to 0 because remember the derivative gives you the slope of the tangent line and we're considered about where the slope of the tangent lines are 0. And so we set this thing equal to 0. All right. Let's uh, let's do some factoring here. We can pull a 6 out and an x. So I'm going to do that. And I'd be left with a 1 here and an x here. And so by setting both of these factors equal to 0, you can see here. Here, we'll do that real fast. All right, so therefore x is equal to 0 in this case. And then... All right, so we take the negative 1 to the other side. Take the 1 to the other side becomes negative, I meant to say. All right, so here's our critical values, uh, 0 and negative 1, the critical numbers. So I'm going to draw a hastily um, number line here. Okay, so I'm going to plot negative 1 on the number line, and then I'm going to put 0. And then we're going to choose uh, some test points. Like, for example, negative 2. Uh, we need a point between negative, negative 1 and 0. How about, uh, how about negative um, half? Okay, that's definitely not negative half. We could use negative fifth, but I think I said negative half, so we'll do that. All right, and then uh, we'll plug uh, about one. Okay, so these are our test points. We're going to plug those into the derivative, and uh, you always want to plug them uh, into the. You always want to plug these guys into the factored uh, part of the derivative. Um, it just makes it a whole lot easier for evaluating it. And remember, we're only concerned about the sign, if it's negative or positive. So it's a negative 2. We plug it in. So we have 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. Then we plug negative 2 in over here, and that's become 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. So a negative number times a negative number is positive. And uh, I'll indicate that with a line that has positive slope. Then we're going to take a negative one half and plug it in. So this is going to be a negative over here. Six times negative half is a negative number. Plug negative half in here and then one minus a half is a positive half. And so you end up having a negative times a positive. And so that's just negative. Indicate that with the line is decreasing means that the function is decreasing between negative 1 and 0. And then we plug 1 in, so we get positive. Plug 1 in over here. 1 plus 1 is 2. And therefore, 6 times 2 is 12, and that's a positive number. All right. We indicate that. So as we can see, we got a relative uh, maximum, a negative 1, relative minimum uh, at 0. Now find the actual point on the graph. You just take a negative 1 and plug it directly into the function. So f of negative 1 is equal to I have uh, forgotten what the function was. Okay, so 3 times negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 cubed. All right, so this becomes uh, 3, and negative 1 cubed is negative 1, and negative 1 times 2 is just negative 2. So this just becomes 1. Therefore, at negative 1, our y value is 1, and we said that this was a maximum. All right, now what we want to do is plug 0 into the original function and find that point 
So 3 times 0 squared plus 2 times 0 cubed. So obviously that's just 0. So we have the point 0 comma 0. Then this is a minimum. And uh, we're done with that problem.